What is up everyone, Indie Gamer Retro here, and welcome to Monster Sanctuary for the PC. Want to give a shout out to uh, Shadow Wolf for recommending this game to me, it is very much appreciated. Uh, the only thing I actually know about this is that it, it was explained to me that it's a combination of Pokemon and Castlevania, and that you have to acquire monsters to do whatever it is you need to do with them. And it's also a side-scrolling platformer slash RPG. I guess. Like, I never played Pokemon, so I don't have any point of reference for that. I mean, it didn't come out in the US until I was finishing high school back in 2000, so... I, and I had friends that played it, or not friends, but they're siblings of... younger siblings of friends that played it. So they know about it, but I've never actually played it myself, so I don't really know how everything works for that. But I do love me some Castlevania, and if it's anything related to that, like side-scrolling, platforming, whatever, then yeah, I'll, I'll give it a try. Uh, I also wanted to apologize for the lack of uploads for the last, oh god, like month, probably closer to a month and a half. I've been dealing with some physical and mental health issues. I am better now, and I'm going to try to start uploading... Uh, two to three a week, maybe, until I can get back to doing one a day. So I just need you guys to be patient with me until I get all of this, like, sorted out and whatnot. Yeah, options. Uh, fine. Give you dodge chance. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Alrighty. Well, fine. New game. Choose character visuals. Uh, let's go with that one. Name your character. Kaden. Aww. <coughs> the Monster Sanctuary is a land far from any other human civilization. It was a beard. While wild monsters are dangerous to humans, monsters raised by them grow loyal to their owners. <laughs> Most of the people in the monster sanctuary reside in the Keeper Stronghold. Many of them learn to raise and train monsters. It's got a little cleft lip like a kitty cat. They call themselves Monster Keepers. And it's a mushroom, I guess. Not sure exactly. Choose a familiar of your bloodline. Spectral Wolf. Okay, attacks with Water and Wind. Attack 5, Magic 5, Defense 4, Health 6, Mana 7. Spectral Eagle. Attack with Fire and Wind. Attack 6, Magic 6, Defense 3, Health 6, Mana 6. Spectral Toad attacks with Earth and Water, attack 4, magic 4, defense 5, health 7, mana 8, damn. Now I don't fuck around when it comes to magic. Spectral Lion attack with Fire and Earth, attack 5, magic 5, defense 5, health 6, mana 6. This was probably actually more balanced because everything's at least 5. Uh, you know, I'm gonna go hang out with Spectral Lion, just because it looks better with the character I picked. Among the most prestigious Monster Keepers, there are four prominent old bloodlines tied to the Monster Sanctuary's history. I guess it, like, randomizes if you pick a different one. Each of those bloodlines is aided by a Spectral Familiar. Those Familiars are ageless protectors of their family, passed on from one Keeper to the next. Kaden is just starting out to become a monster keeper like his ancestors before him. Aw, kitty. As with all starting monster keepers, his journey begins on the keeper's trail. His bloodline's familiar bears the form of a spectral lion. Name your familiar.
Tristan. He actually had a cat named Tristan. And Caden. Monsters are wild things. The only reason I'm helping you is the bond I share with your family. Most monsters are less inclined to, than me to help you. That is why you must always raise your own monsters. They will grow alongside you, just as I will. They will fight for you. Best way to gain a monster's loyalty is to hatch it from its egg. Of course, you will have to fight to get those monster eggs. Look at the blob over there. Eh. Initiate a fight by contact. We shall see if you will live up to your ancestors. Okie dokie. Blob. Start combat. Ignite 3 times 55%. Magical damage. Fire applies burn debuff. Debuff info. What is that? Monster receive damage based on own attack or magic value, whichever is higher at the start of each turn. Claws, 2 times 100% physical damage neutral, critical damage plus 50%. Stone Rain, 3 times 65% physical damage earth. Try Ignite. Moist. stars, I guess. Rare loot chance, 40%. Gold bonus, 120%. Well, potion and blob egg. There we go. You received the blob egg. Now you need to hatch it. Open the inventory menu and try to hatch it. Yeah. Tori. Blob egg. Jeevan Alok's new best friend. But Blob is fine. I really don't feel like having to name like a dozen or so monsters. That is your first monster you hatch by yourself. Yay! Right now it is weak, so we need to train it. There's much more for you to learn, too. You and that Blob are quite alike. Both green and viscous. Let's continue on to Keeper's Trail. It will lead us to Old Baran, an old friend of mine. He's a patient teacher to all young Keepers who seek guidance. I advise you to listen to him very carefully. Okie dokie. Mountain path. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's turn percent. It's not too bad. 3 out of 5. Well, potion and copper. Level 1 common upgrade material. Based on the effectiveness of your combat strategy, you get a rating of 1 to 5 stars. Earning a higher rating increases your chances of getting better drops like rare monster eggs. Okay. Good to know. Young Keeper, tis the Keeper's trail's beginning, but all of man, beast, and sanctuary has beginning. Okay, okay. Yeah. Magma Pillar and a Rocky. Weak to, I guess, water resists fire. Weak to fire resists nature or earth. that one. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, you bastard. A pooch combo. You bully. gains experience in combat, they increase in level. This allows them to gain new skills. You should take a look at the skill tree menu. Okay, night. Level 
too, huh? Getting plus increased magic. Get a good chance. Magic, that's physical, that's physical, that's physical, okay. Hybrid Master increases attack and magic by 10%. Damn. Every single one of your monsters possesses a special ability. Some can be used to get rid of certain obstacles. Also, you might encounter some destructible walls, like the one behind me. You want to try to hit it with some of your monsters' abilities. F. Oh, yep. Nice. Vital ring. Health 60. Go ahead and give that to him. Defense is 15 compared to like mine is almost 60. Hey friend, you're just starting as a monster keeper, right? Did you find some equipment for your monsters already? You make your monsters strong by equipping them. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Kunai, 30 physical and magic, mana regeneration 12. Ooh. Go ahead and give it that. Snapshot, 4 times 35 percent magical damage, Earth applies poison. Achieve damage based on own max health at the start of each turn. Oh hell yeah, give me that. Man prospered through generations, founded cities and nations, connected by dirt and wheel, and later by steam and steel. Okay. Eh, what the hell? Bracelet, defense 10, modern regen 12. What the hell? It's like an eyeball with a tail. Gauntlet. There's 12 critical chance 15. Or 5. Or whatever you just said. A number. 5. And damage reduction. Well, I guess if your defense goes up, I guess you're... Damage reduction goes, you know, goes up with it. Right, keep your stronghold, left, keep your trail. Okay. Just this way. Something with a chest. Copper.
beard. That's fine. Beating, 4 times 40% physical damage, neutral. Has might, that's what. Increase physical damage by 20%. Featherstorm, 6 times 25% physical damage, wind. Air sickle, 4 times 40% physical damage, wind. Okay. Increases 
magic. Magic proc. Every attack triggers an additional hit equal to 35% of magic value. Oh, damn. Oh, hell yeah. we right, get that one next level. Man plunged into deepest abyss, foraged, attacked, and slew. His endeavors were without solace, the cost of humanity nobody knew. Impact rate, crit damage 20%. Hello, young monster keeper. First time in a keeper's trail, is it? It's a teleporter stone. You can use it to travel quickly to other teleporters you find. Me? I'm just a treasure hunter. Make business selling the things I find here and there. Wanna buy something? Yeah, I'm sure. It's 20, mon region 18. Actually, I'm gonna come back to that. Old Baran? Old Baran? You can find him heading further west. Okie dokie. Phoenix tier. Okay, so it's a revive thingy. Yeah, it looks like a locked door. Can I? Ha ha! A gem. Monies. Hey, fellow keeper. Did you know that you can change which monsters is following you around? This allows you to use different monster abilities while exploring. A and D. Okay. Okay, but we'll activate water orb. Levitates. Okay. Oh, I can go back into those things. Breaks hidden walls, cuts through vines, burns vines. It kindles torches, activates fire orbs. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, four out of five. Rocky egg. Skill point. damage hit. Oh, nice. Uh, let me go ahead and do that. Punch combo, leaf slash, and spore. Okay, 3 times 55% magical damage, earth applies weakness. It's 20%. Monster deals 20% as damage. Restore. Go ahead and just get that. Oh, got another one. Tree of a monster. Meh. Yeah. Eh. Eh. Cat Zerker. Level up, 
Tainted Walnut. You get this. I want to see what that's all about. And uh, was it that one? Yeah. Increase attack by and magic by 10%. Start of the turn based on the applying stat. Applying attack that half the bleeding stacks are removed to round it up. Cycle fire called generation. Create seven and a half percent of maximum health at the start of the turn. Uh we do that. That Came the four, free from the greed of any other sin, who listened to the voice within, struck a wound to the realm's core. Uh. Nope, not quite. Ow, that probably hurt. Receives a random buff at the start of the combat. Monster can still receive another instance of that buff normally. And that will go to you. I felt like it. And two potions. Can't reach that.
shall we? Get with the fire. Okay, so I need fire and nature. Do that one. That one and that one. Rivers flowed and mountains grew mighty and cold. This is the only place for any creature that lives in peace with its nature. Yowie egg and apple. by 4% of this much of max health at the start of every turn. Friend of mine. Hey Baran, long time no see. Brought you a new student. 
just hatch his first monsters. Thought you might teach him some lessons. So you're the new Spectral Keeper, huh? Folk called me Oberan. Made my home in the end of Keeper's Trails. So I can teach all of you Greenhorns about how your new duties as fully fledged monster keepers. First, let's battle to see if you're worthy of the title. Always observe your enemies carefully. Some say the outline of battle is decided before it begins. Since I raised these blobs myself, they're stronger than the ones you've seen so far. As you can see, their level is much higher. Not really. You can also see the weakness and resistance of your enemies. My blobs are weak to wind attacks. Top right corner of the screen, that's the combo counter. Every action you do in combat will increase the combo counter based on how often you hit your enemies or healed or buffed your allies. This will increase the damage of the following attacks. The combo counter resets after every turn. Makes sense? Always try to act with your weaker defensive or assisting monsters first and use high hit count actions. This will maximize the damage of your offensive monsters that act later. Okay. Walk to Keeper's Trail and you have defeated my monsters. However, to become a proper monster keeper, you'll need to complete one more test. Young Keeper, this next test will be much much more challenging. You should prepare for it first. Once you have any free skill points, use them now and use them wisely. Okay. Yes. Good. You show bravery, but this time you're not facing any normal monster. Ooh. I saw you on the title screen. Particularly powerful monsters are often described as champions. They have more health and do more damage and can act multiple times a turn. It's your job is monster keeper to take care of them. It's only fitting that you beat one to become a member of the Order of Monster Keepers. Show me what you're made of. Okay, he's weak to win, so give me a character. I need a healing one, and go ahead and give me, I guess. That one? Uh...
his armor break. I think it makes me do more damage to them. Ooh, and that. I keep forgetting about that. It's awesome. You have defeated your first champion, and therefore you are now a Keeper Aspirant. Or Aspirant. Nothing more is required of you. However, stay a while and listen, won't you? There are things going on in Sanctuary that trouble me. See, monsters can't become this powerful by normal means. Champions usually don't accept other monsters besides them or a Keeper in control of them. Champions are always an anomaly, quite rare in nature. I enhanced this gala myself to make it stronger. But even I couldn't control it for longer periods of time, so I leave it deactivated most of the time. Recently, Keeper Rangers have been finding an unusual amount of champions around the Sanctuary. I regularly receive letters from, by Vero Mail from Rangers who are stuck in the distant reaches of the Sanctuary fighting against champions. One for my old bones, I go out there myself. At least I can keep the Keeper's trail safe. I trapped the champion in the caves in this area. Just take care of it if you feel up to the task. Mountain Path Key. Before you go, there is one more lesson I want to teach you. Don't worry, you don't have to fight other monsters. This is just about feeding your monsters. Take two apples, two potatoes. Feeding your monsters will boost your stats. Caring for your monsters this way is vital if you intend to face more champion monsters. But your monster will always profit from the last three food items you gave it. Now, good luck on your road as a monster keeper. Well then, you're a keeper aspirant now. Yay! Keeper's trail completed. The only way to prove your rank is to beat more champions. Who knows? Maybe we'll be the one to reach the title of Keeper Master. Always only one in a couple of lifetimes. Take care of that champion right now, or we can go back to the Keeper Stronghold first. The choice is yours. And I'm actually going to go ahead and call it here, guys. Uh, yeah, I am actually really digging this so far. Uh, that. Get some of these knocked into the way. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call it here when I come back. I guess I'll make my way back to that um, um, stronghold or whatever. Thought his books read. Central Tome with a blob handling, a hidden patch of monster sanctuary. Got okay. Oops. Nope, don't tear his shit up. So yeah, I'm going to come back and take care of all of that. Go to the sanctuary, see what I need to do there. And then go probably kill that other thing he just told me about back in the cave. Probably at that locked door that I passed up. Or something. I'm not entirely sure, but I'll just take care of it when I come back. So until then, this is Indie Gamer Retro on Monsters. Ah, oh, got my throat. Monster Sanctuary. Later, guys.